Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel So today we are going to see the differences between using your head voice and your chest voice with the same song Now let's start with a small little overview of our registers. What is your hat voice register and what is your chest voice register? And then we're gonna apply this in the same song. There is a reason why the author of the song, the songwriter of the song, the, uh, the composer of the song wants you to sing it specifically in chest voice or in hat voice, there is a reason behind it. Now, today we're gonna to look at Never Enough, and Never Enough is a song where you have to belt out those high notes. They want you to belt out those high notes or even mix it, it really depends on where your register is, where your passaggio is. But the aim of the song is to have a really good cli uh, climax, to really have those belting notes, right? Now in that moment, if we would use our hat voice, it might can come across a little bit weak. It can alter the, uh, the song, change, uh, change the dynamic of the song just because we choose our head voice and not everyone has like a really proper thick strong head voice my head voice for example sounds like that guy from sesame street that guy that lives in the garbage can mm -hmm, that's me now because i never really worked on my head voice when i was a teenager only later when i started to sing professionally i was a little bit you know keen to explore more my head voice but not really and that muscle was never fully developed it always came across weak very airy and it lacked that strongness please do me a favor and work on your head voice don't um yeah don't miss out on that beautiful part of your voice now let's start on what wikipedia is telling us uh, about registers now we have vocal fry uh, or slack then we have our chest voice or speaking register oh. According to Wikipedia, the whistle register. Now we have, um, of course, we have flageolet, which is before the whistle register, which is not a lot of people speak about flageolet. Then we have mixed voice, which is not a register; it's a technique, and this is a transition. You know, with mixed voice. It's a couple of notes that help you to get this coordination between two muscles. That's what actually is going on there. So this is a coordination between two muscles. And it's not a register at, at, uh, at all. It's really um, a couple of notes that we speak about here, also depending on where your break is. Just look at how our hat voice sounds when we are descending it down. Let's do an exercise. <laughs> I'm speaking with my head voice. Well, that's very, very low. And I sound like a cartoonish kind of weird version because I brought my head voice down. And it sometimes sounds a little bit like, hey, Goofy! Hey, I'm Mickey! You know? Now, this is how it sounds like. I'm going to the chorus and look into the chorus and look how I'm going to execute the chorus if I'm using my head voice there, okay? These hands could hold the world, but it will. Yeah, sounds like a classic operatic garbage can version. Now let's go and try it out with our chest voice, shall we? Never enough, never, never, never enough, never, never for me, for me, for me. reason why certain songs have to be executed the way that the author wants them to be 
and how the composer had that song in mind and it, it changes, just alters everything and sometimes it's not good to push through where it's really not needed. If it's supposed to be a head voice, use a half voice there, why not, right? But then it's really up to the individual person, right? It's also up to individual preferences. So, you know, just giving you an example of how it can look like. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like content like this, you know what to do, right? You just write it down in the beautiful comment section. And don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I see you in my next video. Thank you.